Once the water to the house is turned back on, you want to check the inside of your house to see if there's any dripping faucets or shower heads. If that's the case, like over here, we have a dripping faucet. The same goes with a shower head. Make sure the water to the sink is turned off underneath the sink. You'll want to remove the handle, remove the cartridge, and take that to any hardware store and have that replaced. Come back and replace it back in the sink. The most popular indoor leak we find are toilet leaks. A silent toilet leak can go through up to 600 gallons a month, or we also have what we call ghost flushers, which will run for a couple seconds at a time and then stop. The first thing to do is remove the lid from the toilet tank and make sure the water level is adjusted properly. There should be about a half inch to an inch of clearance from the top of the overflow tube and the water level. If the water level is too high, that water will be continuously flowing into this overflow valve, which goes straight into our sewer system. To adjust that, you'll either want to adjust the rod or specifically on this toilet right here, there's this little knob and adjusting that slightly will adjust the water level inside the toilet. So another common issue that we have with toilets is sometimes the flapper won't close all the way. In this toilet, that flapper is that blue thing right there that opens and closes every time the toilet flushes. So sometimes that will get stuck open and the autofill in the toilet will just continue to run until that's repaired. One cool trick of learning if your toilet is leaking or not is by using some food coloring. So what we do is we just put it in the toilet tank right here. You'll leave it for about five minutes without using the toilet at all. And then if you come back and it's in the bowl of the toilet, then you know you have a toilet leak. You can see that there is a leak in the toilet, so what we would recommend if you do have a flapper leak is just taking out that flapper that's in the toilet, taking it to any hardware store. It's very important to try and get the same toilet flapper that was in there previously. Putting that back in, there are universal flappers, but definitely try to get the same flapper that belongs to the model of the toilet. If you find that your shower sink or toilet isn't the culprit of the leak that you have, be sure to check out our other videos to learn how to check for other leaks inside and outside your home.